on the practical point of whether or not uh, Russia has asked and China has agreed to render uh, military assistance to the Russians in their uh, campaign in uh, Ukraine. Uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, top of mind, it, it, uh, we, we think about weapons, etc. Could it be as simple as things like trucks and truck tires, etc.? Because, you know, one of the main reasons, as you well know, uh, the Russian campaign is starting to get bogged down is their supply tail is, is, is absolutely in tatters. Sure. I mean, it could involve everything from uh, drones to food to tires, all sorts of things. Of course, given the supply line problems the Russians have, it's not necessarily going to be easier with Chinese goods. But whatever it is, uh, I think the U.S. and others have said no support whatsoever. Uh, and the Chinese don't look like they've provided it, but they've not said no. And I think what the U.S. is trying to do is make sure that that doesn't happen. And they just can't get a yes out of the Chinese, any kind of promise. Uh, and I think that means that we're going to continue to see China uh, in an argument that isn't really necessary for them to have, except for the fact that Xi Jinping just simply can't stomach doing something that might make Putin look bad. Uh, so do you think then that in Beijing, the strategy is more, uh, if anything at all, to wait and see whether sort of Putin ends up undermining himself if the war collapses, if the invasion does. Well, you know, Foreign Minister Wang Yi said that Chinese policy is as clear as uh, it could be. It's as clear as muddy water is what it is. And what they really need to do is, is, is take a firm position on this. I mean, their long-held principled position about sovereignty and borders uh, fits perfectly for this situation. They should just come out and say it um, and then try and put pressure on Russia to come to the negotiating table and withdraw their forces or at least uh, accept a ceasefire. Uh, I think the Chinese are in a real bind because w regardless of how this turns out on the battlefield, Putin's losing and Russia's going to lose. And that means that China's uh, friend without limits is going to be hurting it for the foreseeable future.